So I already know time complexity means the amount of time needed by the algorithm for completing the task. Time complexity is calculated based on step count. Time complexity of algorithm is calculated based on step count. The name itself specifies step count means how many number of steps are needed for execution. So to calculate step count, we are using two methods. So time complexity is calculated based on step count. So our aim is we are identifying step count. So step count is calculated by using two methods. One is count method. Second one is frequency mechanism. One is a count method. Second one is a frequency mechanism. First we will discuss count method. In this method, we globally initialize a variable count with value 0. Initialize a variable count with value 0. For each and every valid step of the algorithm, increment the count value by 1. For each and every valid step, increment the count value by 1. Here valid step means the step that is needed for execution. For example, consider an example program algorithm sum of x comma n. Algorithm sum of x comma n. Suppose the total is equal to 0. For i equal to 1 to n, do total is equal to some total plus i. This is our program. For this program, initially assume a count variable as 0. Next, convert this program into algorithm sum of x comma n so algorithm sum of x comma n this is not a value state by default each and every algorithm contains algorithm heading so opening brackets and closing brackets are not value statements next total is equal to 0 total is equal to 0 means we are using a variable total with initial value as 0 this is value state this step must or should be executed so, whenever a value step encounter, increment count value by 1. Increment count value by 1. Next, for i equal to 1 to n, do. So, we are entering into the loop by taking i value as 1. So, whenever we are taking i value as 1, we are entering into a loop. <coughs> so, that is a value step. Now count value is incremented by 1. Next step is total is equal to total plus i. So total is equal to total plus i. This is also a value step. Count is equal to count plus i. Now we comes out of the loop. Whenever we are coming out of the loop by taking i value as n plus 1. So whenever we are coming out of the loop include count value by 1. Count is equal to count plus 1. This is complete algorithm. <coughs> so for each and every valid step, increment the count value by 1. After writing the count values, we are placing all count values at the same place. That means algorithm sum of x comma n. Write all independent count values. Initially, so no need to write count is equal to count plus 1. This is also count is equal to count plus 1. This is inside loop. Outside loop, we have two count variables. That means simply count equal to count plus 2. Next, within for loop, for i is equal to 1, 2 and 2, within for loop, we have two count variables. Count equal to count plus 2. So here no need to write the statements. Total is equal to 0, total is equal to total plus i. So <coughs> sum of all count loops. So sum all count variables that is present inside the loop, present outside the loop. So these two are outside the loop, these two are inside the loops. Now calculate 
how many number of steps the count is repeated this step is repeated only two number of times and this step is repeated so body of the for loop is executed from i is equal to 1 to n that means this statement is repeated n number of times so it count value is count plus 2 so total it repeats 2 n number of times suppose if the value count is equal to count plus 3 it repeats 3 n number of times and total time complexity is equal to 2 n plus 2 this is the procedure for calculating time complexity or calculating step count using count variable. Consider one more example. Algorithm. Addition of. Algorithm. Addition of some A comma B. For example, assume A comma B are two matrices. For I equal to 1 to N do. For j is equal to 1 to n2, c of i comma j is equal to a of i comma j plus b of i comma j. So for this matrix, we are using count variable. Algorithm add of a comma p. First, for i is equal to 1, 1, 2, n, 2. So, in this example, we are not considering the syntactic procedures. We are considering just for these given statements, we are calculating time complexity. Suppose if this program is good, initially we are writing some c of i j is equal to 0, or we have to declare a value and b value. So, we are calculating time complexity for these given statements only. For i is equal to 1 to n, do we are entering into the loop, so count value is incremented by 1. Next, for j is equal to 1 to n, do we are entering into the loop, count is equal to count plus 1, <coughs> then the statement is executed c of ij is equal to a of ij plus b of ij. Whenever this statement is executed, if the count value is equal to, its count value is incremented by 1. Now this for loop is completed. After completion of a loop, write a count value, increment count value. After completion of this for loop, we are incrementing count variable. Next, we are completing this count variable. That is this for loop, we are incrementing the count variable. Simply after completion of a loop, whenever we are entering into a loop, increment a count variable comes out of a loop, increment the count variable. So after this, write the count variables as separate algorithm add of a comma b. The count variables that are present outside the loop. Here we have only one count variable that is count is equal to count plus 1. Next, for i equal to 1 to m do the count variables present for outer for loop. For outer for loop we have 1, 2. For outer for loop we are containing two count variables that is count is count plus 2. Next to inner for loop. For j is equal to 1 to n 2. In inner for loop we are containing two count variables. That is count value is equal to count plus 2. Inner for loop is completed. <coughs> so check this procedure. Now the time complexity. This step requires only one unit of time. For example, this statement represents only one unit of time. This outer for loop variable, outer for loop is repeated. The loop is from 1 to n. That is, this statement is repeated n number of times. Here, the count value is incremented by 2. So, this statement is repeated 2 into n number of times. 
and this inner body so inner for loop is repeated n into m n square number of times then the value is 2n inner for loop repeats 2n square number of times and total count is 2n square plus 2n plus 1 this is the total step count for this program for, for this algorithm <coughs> next we will calculate the step count by using frequency count mechanism so in frequency count mechanism we are calculating the step count in frequency count mechanism we are calculating the number of steps required for execution of each statement that means how many number of times each statement is executed and it is represented in a table format simply to calculate the step count the algorithm is represented in table format the table contains three parameters s by e steps for execution frequency and total <coughs> steps for execution steps for execution means how many number of steps are required for executing a statement for executing a statements how many number of steps are needed frequency means how many number of times the particular statement is executed and total value is simply s by e into frequency by using these three by using these factors we are calculating step count now consider an example suppose algorithm sum of x comma n initially assume total is equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 to n do total is equal to suppose use brackets total is equal to total plus i this is algorithm for this algorithm we are calculating s by e value steps for execution this statement is not needed this statement is also needed total is equal to 0 this statement is executed only one step steps for execution means this statement is executed in one step this statement is executed in one step for this bracket nothing for this statement one step for this bracket for this bracket once step count is calculated find frequency find frequency of each statement so frequency so this statement is repeated only one time frequency specifies how many number of times a particular statement is executed this statement is executed only one time in the algorithm now for i is equal to 1 to n this statement is executed n number of times for i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2, and i is equal to n and also executed n plus 1 so to check false condition <coughs> that is we are entering into the body of the loop up to n so it comes out of the loop whenever it reaches the condition for example for i is equal to 1 to 5 for i is equal to 1, we are entering into the loop. i is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. We comes out of the loop only whenever i value 6. That is, the first statement is executed n plus 1 number of time. And this bracket is what is Body of the loop is executed only true conditions. That is, only n number of times. Now, calculate total total is equal to s by e into frequency 1 n plus 1 n so total value is equal to 2n plus 2 this is the frequency step count by using frequency count mechanism now consider one more example Suppose algorithm reverse of some number m. Suppose algorithm reverse of 
consider a number n. Initially, some reverse is equal to zero. Why number greater than zero? Reverse some r is equal to n mod ten. Some reverse is equal to reverse into ten plus r. n is equal to n by ten. For example, this is reverse algorithm. This this step is executed only one time. This step is one time. R is equal to n mod n one one. Simply S by A plus a value step. Frequency. Frequency reverse is equal to zero is executed only one time in this algorithm. While n greater than zero, this loop is repeated until n plus one number of times. The loop is repeated until n plus one number of times. Here we are specifying the n value. N value, for example, n is equal to 123. That means loop repeats n plus one 124. That is not the correct answer. So here the n value specifies not the reversing number. For example, this loop repeats some three number of times. This condition is checked for n plus one number of times. So r is equal to n mod n, only one, one, one. So <coughs> inside the loop, just generally the value is one. Inside the loop, r is equal to n mod n. This is executed n number of times. R reverse is equal to this statement is executed n number of times. This statement is also executed n number of times. Generally, each one is a single statement. Each single statement inside the body of the loop is executed n number of times. And final answer is one n plus one n n n. So total of one two three four four n plus two. So this is procedure for calculating step count by using frequency count mechanism. Thank you.